Well, welcome back for another happy episode on the weekend with <laughs> at the Royal Turd Shop. Anyways, I uh, hope everybody's feeling good. Here's the 180. Uh, give you an update on what we're looking at. Um, it's tore apart as we pan over here across the messy uh, little bench that I work on in my crusty little shop. Um, just kind of show you. Uh, this is kind of what I hooked up as far as uh, where it goes. I just kind of mock things up. I already got the numbers for for this this little guy here. So as you see, it's a clamshell. Um, take things off here um, as it is easy to go. So my numbers that I got on there was uh, uh, the squish is 37 um, thousandths, which obviously I can't do much with, right? Um, and you got the exhaust 108, transfers 131, and uh, intake is 70. So um, what can I do with these numbers? Um, do a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot. I may change the exhaust by a couple degrees, uh, two or three degrees, thinking maybe 106 to 105. Um, that should not be too bad to do. And let's get a light on for you here so you can get kind of see in there. Um, it's, it's rather tiny, isn't it? So, <laughs> but it's a tiny little thing, isn't it? <laughs> so anyways, there's, there's is, um, kind of tiny. So maybe opening it up just a shade would work. Uh, looking in there through, um, the transfer holes, looking down and through the spark plug. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can do that. Let's see, shine some light in there. I wonder if you can kind of see in there. So you can kind of see. And there's those transfers. Um, uh, there's a hell of a lip. So it's like, it's not half, but it, there's like a good third, a quarter to a third that the piston blocks off. So it never gets a full shot in there on those transfers. So kind of what we're thinking um, is going over here with this piston here. This is just a, a quick aftermarket piston. It's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks on, on eBay. You know, this is like, since it was a saw that was a trade slash given, I'm not going to think much into it. It's a 180 and they're really not that much to buy new. So I can kind of see there's a, there's a good lip there, right? So I can take and uh, gain a couple degrees, um, which would change my 131 and I could probably get it like two degrees, right? And so that's that's what I've kind of been seeing. So what you open it up a little bit, give a better shot and basically open a transfer window up um, by just modifying the piston. So I'll, I'll, I'll shave this down just a little bit, maybe about half the distance uh, to the ring um, and kind of like flow it into it. So that's like flowing the piston. Um, the a piston actually is pretty nice. It's got a nice bottom chamfer to it down in here. The edges are a little uh, sharp on the side here, but that's easy to, to take a little piece of sandpaper and, and soften those. But yeah, I was kind of surprised how, how nice beveled this bottom is. So um, nice. I'll be able to throw that in there, see how it goes. So there it is, a little update. Um, and then I uh, was looking at maybe giving a little bit more intake to about uh, 75 five-ish I'm thinking so maybe five degrees intake you know um since we're looking at 20 uh what is that uh 23 degrees is a 20 yeah 23 degrees of blowdown you know minus the 108 from the 131 and you get uh 23 degrees some fuzzy math off the top there but yeah that's about it so uh, another thing that I was going to do, you know, making these pipe mufflers for the 372s and the and the 385s and the, the Husqvarna 390s. So this is Husqvarna stuff, obviously. Uh, this was uh, on eBay. Uh, uh, what was it? Farm Mac, was it? Farmer Mac? <laughs> the other, you know, saw company. But anyways, uh, so this kit is actually kind of rather neat, right? And it's just basically your standard, you know, can, nothing special, like all the aftermarket cans in here, uh, very choked off. So, you know, obviously taken and 
taken a, a little pipe like what I have here. I salvaged this little piece. So what I'll do is I'll keep the hole. I will uh, put it up right above in there and it'll roughly look kind of like that. Um, and then that will make this, this stock-ish muffler breathe a little bit better. But anyways, the deal for like 12 and a half to $13, depending on how many you buy, is probably better than the mufflers, the ugly pipes that I've been making. And uh, <laughs> who knows if they're gonna be better or not. But at least this kit comes with a brace, comes with a packet with bolts, gaskets, and the shield. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal, right? And so, you know, obviously um, that's where that's at. So good deal on that um, if you're looking at taking stock. But of course, this is terribly small. It's my pinky, the tip of my pinky there. So horribly tiny, right? So you definitely need to increase this. This is like outside is OD out, uh, outside diameter is going to be about three quarters. Inside is closer to like the five eighths. Um, so that's kind of the weld pipe that I pick up. Uh, then it, I don't really pick up the one inch. Um, but you combined this with this and you have two openings. It'll, it'll in essence make that one inch category. Unlike, let me get you down here to the floor. Unlike that ugly thing that you've seen <laughs> whoa that thing's loud <laughs> loud 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 anyways enjoy your rest of your weekend um maybe i can get another uh video out but uh hopefully enjoy this the update on the the um uh, steel ms 180 so enjoy thank you for watching